All right, YouTube, it's actually been some time since this story emerged, but I think it's it's time to talk about this fucking Noah's Ark replica they've built in Kentucky. Uh, the idea was that it would up tourist revenue, so it was acceptable for the state government to, like, give them land and subsidize the creation of this supposedly realistic ark. Now, my first proposal is they should flood the area and see if it floats and doesn't fall apart. You know, well, well, during a tornado or something, because, you know, you got whipping winds and lashing rain and all the other shit you find in fucking Noah's Ark story. That's my first proposal. Uh, see if it floats. See if see if this uh, supposedly properly built replica of the Noah's Ark. See if it actually works. I'm betting it sinks to the bottom of the pond. The second proposal is when it when it turns out that this Ark uh, can't be funded by taxpayer money when it becomes insolvent like that fucking dinosaur land theme park they had I think in Kansas not not the creation museum the other one with the dinosaurs and shit or maybe it was Florida I can't remember when it becomes insolvent after the courts weigh in when they finally realize yeah this is a religiously themed theme park it's a private endeavor and should have stayed that way and there's no reason that a state should be subsidizing a religious edifice what if it was a muhammad museum would the people of kentucky like that very much if they were having to pay for that i don't fucking think so well it's the same goddamn difference doesn't matter if you think christianity is more americana paganism is more americana than that nonsense look at what benjamin franklin used to do with whores over in france uh, no, the second proposal is when it becomes insolvent, when it becomes clear, oh, shit, we're not making enough money, we're going to have to close up, and then this giant ark will just be sitting here scarring the landscape for the next supposedly few thousand years, since these people think that the ark's still like in perfect condition up on a mountain somewhere in Turkey. I think not. That's just a crater there, folks. It's not actually a boat. What we should do is turn it into a giant, like, gladiator-style thing. You could have, like, an iron walkway ringing the entire inside of the boat, like, up on the walls. And you fill the center with, like, dangerous predators. And then you dump a bunch of, like, pigs and goats and shit in there. And the predators come and rip them apart. You know, the state of Kentucky can get rid of their violent criminals this way. Just dump them in the lion pit. You could have a lion pit. You could have, like, a bear enclosure. You could have, like, an animatronic T-Rex that you use to, like, chop people in half and stuff. And just call it Noah's Ark Feeding Frenzy. Because the thing is, if Noah's Ark had actually been built according to the Bible's uh, specifications in those dimensions, filled with the kind of creatures that it mentions, like two of every fucking animal, other than domesticated ones, I think they took seven of them because they had to eat. And all the animals were like severely autistic and inbred within a couple of generations because there was only like one mating pair from each of them. I don't know how they accomplished this. I also don't know how they got the animals in other continents. I guess God had like teleportation powers for fucking Noah and his family. Anyway, what would have happened? The predators, once they got hungry after the first 10, maybe 20 days, they're just really ravenous. They would have broken out of there and they would have eaten each other. You know, oh, where did the dinosaurs go? Oh, they got hungry. They fucking, the, the males and females started eating each other. And then they broke out. And that's why there are extinct animals in the fossil beds. Because they, they fucking toppled over the side of the ship. Noah had to, like, levitate them with his magical god powers and threw them out into the ocean. And that's why their bones are there in the sediment. Because it was flooding and there was, like, all sorts of debris and sand and stuff. That's why fossils exist. I mean, this is fucking retarded. The, I mean, I don't even care that it's sort of a fictional setting because, you know, Disney's the same thing. It's like none of these movies are real life. They're they're cartoons and stuff. And they still have theme parks based on fake stuff. They have like a Jurassic Park ride and stuff like that. I don't have a problem with that. The real problem is it's absolutely blatantly unconstitutional for a state to compel its taxpayers who may not share this religious view to build a religiously themed park. It's again... If if the Church of Satan wanted to build a giant, like, hundred-foot-tall iron pentagram and then said, oh, well, the state should give us land for free, this will attract tourists even if they're irate and throwing things at the pentagram. It'll make you money, so give us land and then make the taxpayers construct it for us and we'll just sort of administer it. Can you imagine how pissed off these people would be? Or again, like Sharia College or Muhammad Museum. Or something like that right in right in the rural heartland like can we go to Kansas like the Westboro Baptist Church land 
and just build a giant like a uh, pagan museum which will have like a big statue of odin and you you have to go through odin's dick and that's the door to get in you have to climb up odin's cock and into the museum and like it's it's just a pile of shit behind odin on the outside on the inside it's like this giant cavern full of like pagan statues and the gift shop sells grimoires and stuff like that can we get the taxpayers of a state to fund something like that you know i think i want to build a, a replica of the parthenon or or a replica of the temple of jupiter or something like that i think the taxpayer should fund it yeah it's gonna have like a 10 ton solid gold ball in the middle of it so you're gonna have to cough up quite a bit of your money but that's okay it'll bring tourist revenue just ignore the constitution the constitution goes both ways on the issue of religion you can have whatever fucking religion you want the state can't do jack shit about it unless you're like raping people as a sunday celebration or something but when you ask other citizens who may not indeed be part of your religion even other christians i'm sure find this quite screwy I'm sure the majority of Christians in this country look at this, scratch their heads and say, what compelled these people to think that this was a good long-term proposal? That this was going to bring in continued revenue? Once the effect of the novelty wears off, this will probably be like many other endeavors within sort of the pseudo-scientific religious archaeology world and things like that, like their fate, ill-fated expeditions to Mount Ararat, where they constantly look for the Ark. Uh, and they never find it. They they go on Google Maps and they see anything that looks roughly ovular, even if it doesn't fit the right dimensions. And they say, oh, that's where Noah's Ark used to be. Let's go. I'm sure we'll find dinosaur bones there or something. It's just not realistic. No, turn it into a killing field. Turn it into a feeding frenzy style theme park where we can watch animals get ripped apart, just like would have happened on the actual Noah's Ark with large predators, you know, at some herbivores too. Like you could have the have a rhinoceros give it rabies or something so it just stumbles around killing everything in its path until the floor is literally soaked with blood or pack it full of animals and then give them some sort of like give them fucking prions or something so they all go crazy and they're just shitting and pissing everywhere and can't even get up and it'll be just a laugh riot uh, who cares about animal cruelty back in those days they used to sacrifice animals very cruelly with stone blades and then look at their entrails to tell the future and stuff so i don't see the problem here I, I don't see how the state of kentucky can ignore such a proposal when it becomes insolvent turn it into a giant killing field style coliseum where condemned prisoners get thrown to the lions and you you have pigs and goats and stuff getting feasted on by large carnivorous animals why not why wouldn't this work and it's a perfect opportunity again since it's supposedly built to the exact design specifications of the bible I, i'll i'll maintain my ambivalence about whether on the inside it actually is since it's supposedly like sturdy and it actually manages to stand up without any modern tools or anything whatsoever why don't we put it in a lake some why don't we hollow out the area around it fill it with water see if it floats and doesn't fall apart in 40 days and 40 nights because even if it's just sitting there and there's no storm there's no like fucking wind or anything i have a feeling it's going to collapse on itself i have a feeling its own weight would bring the sides down that's just me though i could be completely wrong and here's your chance to prove it float that fucker full of carnivorous animals it's a great idea. You can have like a lion breeding program, like lions and tigers and shit, they're all threatened or endangered. Take your condemned prisoners, feed them to these animals. It won't cost very much to do that. And just let them do what they do. They fuck and they make little baby lions and tigers and stuff. And then you can you can repopulate all the you can help the environment and then the Democrats will let you have your taxpayer subsidized theme park. That's about all. Peace out.